Hey, remember that Paul, in the beginning of Romans, Paul, his audience was his Gentile. Now he has shifted this to the Jews. Now, if you guys know what circumcision is, is, is the, the male gen, genital that, you know, the foreskin is cut, and it was supposed to be symbolic uh, that these people are my people, God's people. And so that's what circumcision is. And so, and to, so circumcised is pretty much, in the Jewish culture, a, a covenant between his people and God, that there is a promise for them. And so that, what, what this is saying is that Abraham was not circumcised. Circumcised, we can also see as works. And we can see that the Jews were proud. They're like, man, we're, we're, we're Jewish people. We're God's people. You know, God, God loves us, right? He does everything for us. But we're, we're going to do whatever for him. And, and, and they're proud, right? They're proud. And here Paul is addressing that. That it doesn't matter that, hey, if you simply believe like how Abraham did, your righteousness is credited to you as well. It's not, it does not mean that you have to you know, be circumcised like how these Jewish people were. Or in other words, we don't have to work our salvation. Our works, our deeds does not earn our salvation. It does not. And I don't know how many times I repeat this because Paul repeats this so many times. And so I want you guys to take that false reality out. That as Christians, believers, to earn salvation is, is not by works. It's simply to just believe. Simple. To simply just believe like how Abraham did. If Paul could... In, in, and I know a lot of times when I was you guys' age, and even now sometimes, you know, I have thoughts. Like, Man, I'm not going to know. i got to do this. But I am reminded that God is faithful because all we need to do is simply believe. And trusting in the promise of what He has already done and what He's going to do. And what Christ has already done. And so I'm, I'm going to take us to look more into the, to the church of Galatia and, and how, how they were like. And now what, what Paul is, is talking about how, man, like these things, I, I, I consider that as rubbish, right? All these things. And so know that circumcision is more than just, you know, a, a, a symbolic to the Jewish people. It's, it's much deeper than that. Being circumcised is also telling us and showing us that, man, we are sinners. Well, to the Jewish people. To show the Jewish people that, hey, we are sinners. Think about it. Why is it on the genital? Why is the skin turned on? Through birth. That through birth, sin passed on from generation to generations. And so likewise, it is with the with with the with circumcision, it, it's it's a it's a deeper meaning to that. In 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 other you know, we can also see that it's a sign as well. It, it points us to something greater. It, it's supposed to point the Jewish people to something greater, like baptism or even communion. It, it, those things point us to something greater. And so with circumcision, for the Jewish people, it was supposed to point them to something greater, for them to see that, man, we cannot be saved 
by the law. Because they would never be able to abide to all these laws. It was supposed to point them to something great. What is this something great? In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 30, uh, chapter 30, it says, Man, we are to circumcise our heart. What, cut it open? Like how they cut the male genital? No, it, it goes... It goes deeper than that. When it says to circumcise our hearts, where are we with God? Where are we with God? Do do, do you ever think about that? Here, Here I'm saying that, man. We cannot earn anything through works. It is only through the spirit that is in you. Like what Galatians, what Paul has told the Galatian church. That hey, you don't have to do anything. You simply believe and the spirit will work in you. The spirit will work in you. In, in, in the same way, like when we do something, like do we do we enjoy it? Do we find Joy in what we're doing, like, you know, for example, you know, teaching the kids, do we find joy in doing that? Because if we don't, then, man, I challenge you guys, is it really faith? Because that's, I, I feel that that's no longer the spirit. Because you don't find a sense of joy in that. It is now gearing towards more, towards the side of the words, that you're doing it to Married for God. To earn your faith to God. So do we circumcise our hearts like in, in the Old Testament continues to uh, speak on it, right? Deuteronomy, James, James the New Testament, uh, in the book of Psalms, right? Psalm chapter 50. It talks about circumcising the hearts. Because with the Spirit we would just do it. We wouldn't need ourselves to, to do it. And Tudu talks about it last week, about what it means to have genuine faith. The Spirit will work. And it will come and you will find joy in what you do. Because I do. And when I don't, man, that's, that's between me and God. I need to get my heart right, right with to circumcise our hearts as Christians. And Paul is saying that, hey, Jewish people, you guys, you guys got to see the bigger picture, Jewish. That it's, not, it's not about you guys circumcising yourself that made you guys God's people. But it's a spiritual reality to see that, man, it's, it's the it's heart. What makes you, you know, do something or find joy in this? And that's that's the spirit working on. And you're allowing that, you know, you're allowing God to do so. And so it moves us on to the next. How do we become heirs of this? You know, in, in Romans, uh, Paul just speak on simply to just have faith. It's that easy. Just, just like Galatians, you know, it, it 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 says that It says that, therefore, be sure that it is it is those who are the faith. Okay, it says, verse 6, says, Even so Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. 
Therefore, be sure that it is those who are of faith who are sons of Abraham. It's simply just believing like what Abraham has been a model for us. And, you know, Paul continues to show us that model. To simply just have faith. And we'll be heirs of, of sons of Abraham. Those who walk by the Spirit are, are simply those who are heir, heir of the kingdom. Heir of Abraham. And in verse 13, for the promise to Abraham or to his descendant that he will be heir of the world was not through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Because Abraham, no, because of Paul, he knew, he knows that you cannot be saved by the law at all. And, you know, I, I continue to say this, and Paul continues to say this. You cannot be saved by words. And I, I, I love this passage of, of Paul in the book of Philippians. Chapter 3, it says, I read from verse, verse 3. For we are the true circumcision who worship the Spirit of God and the glory of Christ and put no confidence in the flesh. We are the true circumcision by simply believing in Christ. Not the Jewish people. They, they were sim, symbol saying that, hey, they're God's people, yeah. But we are the true circumcision in Jesus Christ. Let's continue. It says, although I myself have confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else has a mind to put confidence in the flesh, I am far more. That's, that's what Paul is saying. I am far more confident. Circumcised on the eighth day of the nation of Israel and the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew, a Hebrew, as a law, a Pharisee, as a zeal, a persecutor of the church, as, a right, as to the righteousness, which is the law, found blameless. Here Paul is saying that, hey, if you think that you're more, far more better than I am, then you are wrong because I am far more than that. I persecuted the church. I am circumcised on the eighth day. I am from the tribe Benjamin, the greatest tribe that came through the line of, um, of David. Right? He said that I, I am far more than that. He has to go to consider yourself right, righteous, knowing the law and whatnot. And Paul said, I know the law. I follow it. But Paul knew in Philippians, like what he just said, that works is not enough. Works is not enough. It's simply just faith. I'm, I'm going to continue reading. It says, whatever, whatever these things were gained to me, those things I have counted as loss for the sake of of Christ. More than that, I count all things to be lost in the view of the suppress, suppressing value of knowing Christ, knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I suffered the loss of all things and counted them but rubbish so that I may gain Christ. Brothers and sisters, works will not save you. Paul knew we are not, we, we cannot compare ourselves to Paul, right? He is, he is, by the law, he is far exceed us. But he said, hey, brothers, church, I know this law will not save me. I am a, I'm a Jewish, I follow this law. It, it will not save me. And what, he do, what did he do? Consider it as rubbish. 
for the sake of Christ. And in, in likewise, do we circumcise our heart? Do we make our heart right with God? For, for the sake of Christ, do we? And that's the challenge for us. Do we come to church just to come? Do we pray for people just to pray so others can see? So our brothers in front of us can be like, wow, this guy prayed for me. I don't know where your heart stands. God does. The one thing I can speak on is that man he cares about our hearts. It's a spiritual aspect. A divine intervention. That that's between you and God to get your heart right. Where are we with that? And that's a challenge for you guys. And for those who man, would, would, would love to know more about this Christ, come talk to me. I would love to. I would love to talk about who Christ is, who is, who is He in my life. Yeah, I, I would love to, to tell you guys. Not just that, but I, I would love to tell you guys more on just simply believing like what Abraham did and how this simply believing opens the door to man. Having the spirit in you and where you can have joy in the things that you do for people, for the church, and for the world. And that you guys can see that man, it's, it's not for myself, and it is it's, it's for it's for Christ. Likewise, like what Paul said, consider all these works as rubbish for the sake of